Hello, I'm Kyle. I'm the technical content developer at Maple Systems. Welcome to the Maple Systems video training series. In this video, I will show you how to turn the digital output on and off using an LED light. In MapWare 7000, I'll be using an HMC 4000 series, specifically an HMC 4070, configured with an HMC 3 M1210 Y0201 IO module. Okay, when you open MapWare, go to New, Product Series HMC, Product HMC 4070, IEC for Programming Language, hit OK. And then for the project configuration, hit OK. Here is an example of a digital output for an LED light. You can also find this on the digital output tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. Okay, let's configure our I.O. module. So go to I.O. Allocation, Expansion, Slot 1, Edit, Model, is going to be the HMC3 M1210 Y0201 V2. Check off download configuration settings, hit configure. And you do not need to do anything further here. The digital output is already configured. So hit confirm, close, hit OK. Once you've configured your I.O., it will next create some tags. So go over to the tags folder, add tag, and we are going to create one tag and we will call it on off switch. Register type will be a bool. Hit add. Once you create that tag, you will next create a logic block. So go up to the logic blocks folder, main folder, new logic block. Let's call it on off ladder diagram. Hit OK. You will next create a new rung. So go to insert new rung. And for the input coil, we will use that tag on off switch. For the output, it will be slot one output coil 0000. zero, 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 zero. Hit OK. And just go to the compile button to make sure it compiles correctly. At the bottom, it says no error detected and it's working properly. Now let's go to run simulation, make sure this works. Go to your logic block. Change it from false to true. And you can see it turn the output coil on. Next, you will create a base screen. And on this base screen, you'll use a toggle bit and a bit lamp. The toggle bit will be the light switch to turn the LED on and off, and the bit lamp will be the LED light. Now go to base screens. And here I have one created, I called it LED on off. So first you wanna create a toggle bit, go up to draw buttons, bit action, toggle bit. And then next you will create a bit lamp, go over to the left, click bit lamp. And for these, I'm going to use custom pictures. And to do that, you will go over to button style and choose user defined images. And for the toggle bit, you want to make sure you have your feedback tag changed from no to yes. And the feedback tag name will be the on off switch bool that we created. And the off text, we are going to use a custom picture that I have for state one. We will use the off position. And on text image, we will use the on position. Let's make this a little bigger. Now for the bit lamp, tag name 
will be the slot one alpha coil zero 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 and for the style we want to select user defined images as well and for the off file name we will use these led pictures i have here for the opposition it will be black led and the opposition will be a green led And also for the toggle bit, you want to make sure you have your tag name selected here using that same bool on off switch. Go up to run simulation to test this out. And in state one, it's in the off position. Let's turn it on. And you can see the LED is now on. Turn it off. Let's turn it on again and it's working. Now you can download and go online. Go to mode, go online with download. And if you're downloading for the first time, make sure you have firmware checked off. In this case, I've already downloaded once, so I just need to have application checked off. Hit download. And it may take a few seconds for the application to load on the HMC screen. Once this happens, it'll say run and the compile window. Let's go to VNC viewer to test this out. And now we are in VNC viewer. As you can see in state one, it's in the off position. Let's turn on the LED. And you can see it's turned on, turn it off again, and let's turn it on and it's working. This concludes the video. To get more information, please visit the Digital Output LED on and off tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. Thank you for watching.